And welcome back. Can you hear us? No? Eh, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. Anything better now? No? Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is live television, by the way. Live streaming, that's what we do best at YSN Live. Maybe not always the best, but we manage. That's a terrible, terrible tagline, by the way. Don't ever use that. Um, at this time, we said we're going to set the bar, okay? And we've got Shan Valentine, and we've got Gus Valentine. But ladies and gentlemen, we cannot end without bringing on Kristen and Brady Crumbacher before the show ends. I love having this. I love moms being a part of this. Can I just start this off by saying when I look down, I'm about midway through the third quarter, early fourth quarter, your mom is dancing. There's a big Brady Crumbacher head floating around somewhere. The Crumbachers know how to party. They know how to celebrate, and there was a lot to celebrate. There's been a lot to celebrate here this year for South Range. Um, Brady, we'll start with you, Mom, with all due respect. We'll start with you from, from your perspective. When you look in those stands after the season you've had, especially this postseason, what does it mean to see all those 18s floating around everywhere? You know, it feels good that you have all these people supporting you no matter what. You know, I will say – I'm not a fan of the big fat head. <laughs> um, I love that they're there for me, and I appreciate every single one of them. My aunt, um, my grandparents, my brother when he calls, my sister. Um, but the fat head, it's got to go. I'm when, not a fan. When you had that touchdown, I looked down, and it was right. I mean, you guys were right in front of us. I mean, yeah. you. it was a, like, NFL-style party. I mean, there was stuff flying everywhere. At the end of the game, there's – there's confetti, stuff like that. Mom, I know this young man and all your kids mean a lot to you. The, the ride that, that you've been able to go on this year, especially with your son being the leader that he is, what's it been like for you? Oh, it, it's been awesome. Um, I, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of uh, all the boys. But um, he just, the way he is with his teammates and um, the kind of player he is, respectful uh it just it means the world to me and obviously it means the world to me that they're winning um it's <laughs> it's important it's important it's fun um we're just we're having a really good time so for you i know when when my mom was in the stands whether it be baseball or football she was always a nervous wreck i was oh, just yes. a lineman when i was pitching or catching or doing anything like that a nervous wreck how do you get over those nerves I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't get over them real well. The first probably quarter, I am bouncing, and um, halftime this week, I had to take a walk or two <laughs> to get my nerves to calm down. Um, then once they settle in out on the field or whatever sport they're playing, then I start to settle in. Um, but as a parent, you're always, you're, you're nervous. I, I'm nervous for all of the boys. Yep. I'm nervous. want to make sure that none of them get hurt. And, uh, you know, I want them to have fun and then I want them to win. <laughs> Is it different? I mean, now you have the awesome, you and you and Brian both have the awesome opportunity to be a, a, a mom and dad of a boy and a girl, well, multiple boys and a girl. So like, is it different for you to like, you're not picking favorites or anything, but like, is it different when it's a hard contact sport like football as a, compared to a, a, a volleyball or anything like that? It, it is a little okay. bit, yeah, because um, obviously it's you worry about number one, they're males. Sure, they hit harder. Things are just you know faster, different. That they do tend to have more injuries, so you do worry a little bit more than than you were you know would worry about volleyball. Honestly, um, it's just there's something. Even That's just scary. about football compared to track or basketball or baseball. Hey, in I, Ella's defense, if I get hit in the face with a volleyball, I'm down for the count. <laughs> it's lights out. But she, she's never had that, I don't think. No, so no, no. She's pretty hopefully, doggone good. Hopefully she never does. But, you know, with football, with my boys, we got issues with our uh, shoulders coming out. and oh. Yeah. So um, I don't worry about that as much with with volleyball as I do football. Okay, so I've got the same question for both of you, but I want to see your perspective. Brady, when you're back there, all alone, kick off, and especially in punt return, how are you not terrified? I feel like I would be so nervous being out there by myself on an island. How, like, when did you finally, or, or do you still get butterflies every time you get a punt return? I used to be, like, especially my very first one, um, I was freaking out. Um, in practice, like, the day before, when we just went over it and I didn't even have anyone 
running at me. I mean, I was freaking out. Um, but I think just as you do it more often, it just gets more natural and like you trust yourself a lot more. Like I was always, it wasn't scared of getting hit or anything like that. It was dropping the ball. Um, and so just as I've done it, I kind of just like, it's normal now. So. And mom, I, I got to imagine when you see your baby boy back there, it's, it's a terrifying experience. Please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Please don't <laughs> drop it. Please don't drop it. Just fair catch. Just wave your hand and do a fair catch so no one hits you. It, yeah, you do. It's very nerve wracking because he's back there by himself. I think so. one of the coolest things that I love about all the Crumbockers is the, the 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 tightness, the unity that you guys have as a family. Everybody knows you. Everybody loves you. Everybody respects you. So for you as the matriarch of that family, what is it? I mean, what are you trying to instill in, in your 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 family to let them know? Hey, this is who we are. This is how we how we represent ourselves, and, and this is how we treat others. Well, I definitely want them, and I think they do know that family family is number one. No matter what, your family will have your back. They'll be there for you through the good times, the bad times. Um, I I want them to always know that no matter what, they can come home, and I I'm going to be here for them their aunts and uncles, their, you know, grandparents, their siblings. Um, it's to me, family is number one. It's, and I want, you know, I want my kids to feel like that's important as well. Brady for you. I mean, what do you, what do you remember most about mom telling you this is the way to be a crumbocker? It's not really what she tells me. It's just how she, how she lives her life, I would say. Um, and not just her, all, all my family, my aunts, grandparents, uncle, like, Aww everyone you know um you talked about being so tight and stuff and i think it's just like that's just how we've always been that's the only way i know um from not the moment i was born that's just how it's been so like it's that's normal all right so we need a good story about brady something that'll make him Boy. turn red a little bit what, what is the most quirky thing about what? Brady? quirky quirky be smart here <laughs> the most perky thing i don't really i don't know i don't know that it would be quirky well this isn't quirky but his sister mentioned it in her volleyball he's not very clean oh. which Messy is a room. lie <laughs> it's a, a lie, lie. Right, we'll give you your time son calm he down is, he's not very very clean but the one thing about brady is he has a very big heart yeah he is a very, very good, good person, a good soul. Okay, good soul, big heart, messy room. Messy room. Ex explain. <laughs> why, why, right. why won't you clean your room, dude? No, it's clean. They just on what first scale? First of all, I don't Not know if you've scale. ever heard this before. Well, her scale is a different level. Um, Better homes and gardens. Actually, the smartest people are the messiest people. Oh, here we go. He's looking into quotes again. Yep, and it's because. <laughs> They remember where all their stuff is. But with that being said, my room's not messy. They just think it's messy because I have all my clothes on the floor. So you remember where your stuff is, right? Yeah. So if I ask your mom right now, have you ever come and been like, hey, where's my car keys? Hey, where's my – has he ever done that? No. Oh, yeah, every Friday night. Mom, where's my mask? Mom, where's my girdle? Mom. That's because you put it somewhere. <laughs> so we can we can throw that theory right out the window there, no. Mr. Crumbacher. She puts it somewhere. I put it somewhere. I do the laundry. I fold it, and I leave it there for him to take and put away. Then it ends up on his floor. Just fling it? Just like this isn't closet. where it's supposed to be? Okay, fair enough. She fair puts enough. it on my bed. And I'm not, oh, you don't want to be there. God yeah, forbid I put saying. it on no, his bed. No. So, so I got to um, move it. Listen, uh, like you can get out of it. And, and one day you'll meet a lovely girl that'll make you make your bed every day. This is how it goes. This is this is how it goes. See, but mom's your first love. She's the one that gave you life. And I'm sure you've, to you've told him she's the one that can end it. So make sure you start <laughs> cleaning your room, dude. Um, but you. if you if you keep returning punts the way you do and playing the way you do with the heart that you do, I think we'll let you off the hook for a couple more weeks. Um, we got to talk about dad. I mean, dad is, is one of the most amazing human beings that I've ever met. And I say that because he's done things for me, to me, and, and unbelievable um, showing up in places that I never would have thought. What does, I'm going to start with Brady. For Brady, when you think about your dad, I mean, what do you think about? Um, his work ethic. 
Um, he's always working. He's he he never stops doing something. Um, whether it's work, it's work true. at the house, football, it's always something. And I think that's like the thing I admire most about him. I'm gonna give you an awesome opportunity here. Talk about your husband, what he means to you, what he means to your family. Um, he, yeah, he just obviously it means everything. Uh, you know, he's always working hard for us. Um, doesn't stop ever. He has coached, you know, for years and years. And at times has said, you know, I, I want to be done and, but has stayed with it. Yeah. So he could coach our, you know, the boys and, um, he just, yeah. Teaching them what, what type of man to be, what type of husband to be, or for my daughter, what kind of husband, you know, that she would want. It, it's very important. I love it. I love this community. I love this family. Brian, Christmas, just over a month away. So make sure those words turn into diamonds or pearls or something <laughs> along those. Uh, Thank you. See, I, I, lo I love it. Put it out there. Just saying. Um, <laughs> Crumbockers, crummies, uh, thank you so much for everything thank that you've you. done for us. Thank you for setting up, uh, aside some time for us. You know I think the world of you. You know I think the world of you well, as well and your whole family. So Thank um, you for everything that you do for us and oh, for our kids. You, you are amazing. It's our pleasure. That is going to do it for the South Range Raiders show. Uh, thank you all for tuning in at Giangelo's here. You can catch us. Hopefully, we're going to talk it over with Frank. Next week at 7, it is the night before Thanksgiving, so it does get a little rowdy up in these parts, uh, so we'll see. Uh, but it has been an absolute pleasure. pleasure. Brady, good luck on Friday. Uh, hope to be back here Wednesday, man, talking about a big win over Perry. For the Crumbockers, I'm DJ Yokely. That's going to do it for the show. We'll see you next time right here on your sports network.